colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus Germany. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Tilo Kieran. Hoffman. Out of play for an Argentina throw. Lionel Messi. And Messi with teammates to play it to. Joshua Kimmich. Gundogan. Müller. Sané. It's with Gundogan. Kimmich. Gundogan. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Well, they could. Can they forge ahead? An important challenge, but they must remain organised. And Messi in full control of the ball here. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Sané. Müller. Gundogan. Well, they have it again. Losing possession here. And tremendous individual skill. Can he get them in front? And it's come off the keeper. Great reflex action from Neuer. Not the best clearance. Martinez. Spot on with that tackle. Hoffman, a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Not high quality defending. Di Maria. Oh, great piece of individual skill. Now they're on the scent of something positive. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Thomas Müller. Hoffmann. Werner. Now with Hoffmann. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Might be in with a chance. Oh, yes! First to score in this final. And it could be highly significant. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? Now back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And that'll be a Germany throw. And into the last 20 minutes. Promising move from Germany. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And Germany get the throw. And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up. And both will come on here. Can he get them level? Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. So back underway, following the equaliser. And over the touchline for what'll be a Germany throw-in. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Ten minutes left for play. Perfect challenge. A 
dispossess your opponent. But on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Alvarez. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. But the danger averted for now. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, the ball rolling again. No end to the action. It's the first period of extra time. And I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. Enzo Fernandez, Dybala, possession one. Strong but fair tackle. Oh, skipping away. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Can they forge ahead? And the keeper diving to thwart it. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And the danger is still on. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, as you can see, he gets everything right here. What a skillful volley that is. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. So at the halfway stage in extra time and 15. Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. Timo Werner. Joshua Kimmich. Sané. Just the clearance that was called for. This could level it, and he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing. A free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there. Well, he didn't miss by much. Fantastic effort, especially from that sort of range. Well, it really is a good effort. He's got such good technique. That was a great strike. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. And there goes the final whistle for the third time in history. Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that.